So here we have a coaxial cable, right? Uh, has an inner uh, conducting solid cylinder of radius A. Okay. So uh, this is, let's say this is the one inside. And this radius here is A. Um, and we have an outer one. So this is the inner one with radius A. And uh, we have an outer cylindrical shell. Uh, radius B. Okay. So let's say the other one is like this. And the radius of this guy is uh, B. And this is number four. Okay, and uh, there's a potential difference delta V between them. Uh, keeping the entire setup uh, neutral. Okay, and uh, suppose those are infinite, which means they go to infinity on both in both directions. Uh, it says find the capacitance of the system. Um, so it wants C. Find the capacitance of the system. Well, you know from basic physics that uh, the capacitance is Q over V. Okay, it's Q over V. And uh, so what you have to do is you have to find Q, uh, which is the amount of charge, and find V, the potential. Uh, unless you you are able to relate Q because you don't have the amount of charge here sitting between the uh, conducting capacitors, uh, unless you have you could relate V to Q and therefore make a ratio out of them. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, we do have to find the potential in between the two conductors, and to find the potential between the two conductors, we have to find the electric field between the two conductors. So that gives you enough hints to solve it. Uh, yes, because uh, to relate V to Q, uh, you could do that. You could find the electric field, and then uh, you know, uh, in in between the two in, in between the two. Uh, conductors and then uh, uh, and then integrate the electric field so that you could find the potential and that should have Q in it yes. and you could use Gauss's law for for finding the electric field that's that's the best way to approach this problem okay so to find the electric field I'm gonna take a Gaussian uh, surface here in between with radius s and I would apply Gauss's law Gauss's law Gauss's law says the integral of EGA which is the flux has to equal Q enclosed over epsilon. Okay, suppose that there's a charge of Q on this guy, which is 
uh, this cube and uh, uh, so uh, due to symmetry this is this has a symmetric surface uh, the area vector is radial and e is radial um, so the angle between them is zero so the dot product gives cosine zero is one also because e is uniform at every point on the surface it's the same and that thus i could pull e out and if i do that uh, the area of that gaussian surface is two pi the radius times the length if i consider this to be l or you know as long as the Okay, and this is, so this is equal Q over epsilon, and then I will get E to equal Q over 2 pi epsilon SL. And uh, that is in the S direction. So this is my electric field. Furthermore, if the change in between them in between the two is delta V so I know that VB minus VA the potential this is equal minus integral of A to B uh, EDL okay so uh, this is just delta V equals minus uh, I will bring the constant out 2 pi epsilon L and DL is DS in this case um, so uh, so this is just uh, 1 so what's left here is 1 over S DS from A to B and uh, this will get me Q over 2 pi epsilon L for delta V and this is just L uh, there's a minus sign here L and B over A and um, I could switch these and get rid of the minus sign so and then divide by Q at the same time so delta Q over V or sorry delta V over Q is equal to uh, 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 one over uh, Let's uh, let me switch it first. Uh, Q over two pi epsilon L. Okay, uh, sorry, this pad is very slow sometimes. It just acts weird, that's why. Okay, so I'll remove the minus sign, 2 pi epsilon L, and flip these. So this is L A over B. Uh, uh, but one second, the uh, the question says, uh, yeah, the uh, uh, A here should be at higher potential. Uh, as we are moving out, the potential drops. And so uh, V is actually VA minus VB, so delta V uh, will equal to V 
uh, a minus v b uh, so uh, so that's going to be minus delta v and there was a minus sign here so that kills the minus sign and uh, and yeah so that's it so that means delta v is equal to q uh, over 2 pi epsilon l l and b over a and since uh, we know that C is Q over delta V, uh, then from this, so per unit length, I can divide by L um, and say that C is Q over delta V from this equation up here. It's 2 pi epsilon, I already divided by L, uh, over L and B over A. So that means the capacitance of this guy is 2 pi epsilon over uh, L and B over A. So this would be the final answer. here epsilon